What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. I've got some interesting news. So as you can see behind me, I've been scanning a lot of photos. And uh, the reason why is actually because uh, a lot of these photos, a lot of them are scanned, but most of them aren't. Uh, and we don't know which ones are and which ones aren't, so I've decided, you know, I'm just going to scan all of them to the best of my ability. And, uh, you know, we have this scanner, it's like 10 years old, but the crazy thing about it is that it's like really high quality. I don't know, it must have been a good scanner for the time. So, you know, it makes you wonder, like, scanners nowadays, because, like, if you see the shots that I'm able to get with this. Let me, let me just bring one up. Uh... One sec. Let me pause it so I can bring this up. Alright, uh, here we go. So this is an example. So this is a scan I did of a magnet that we have because I think it looks cool. And uh, as you can see, you just zoom in and then it keeps going and then it never stops zooming in. And then eventually you hit these pixels. But this image is like absurdly high detail. And this is with like a magnet that's maybe this big. Uh, and you know, so for an even bigger image, it's way more obvious, but it's crazy how high quality this stuff is. So, uh, you know, I'm just saying with something like this, uh, I don't know, new scanners plus new microscopes. Uh, yeah, anyways, so I've been scanning all these photos, right? And I used to use this thing called ScanLight, which was made for the KDE desktop environment ecosystem, uh, which basically means it was made by the KDE people, and a lot of the other ones are made for the GNOME people, that I'm talking Linux speak here. Um, so, you know, I was using ScanLight because I'm more comfortable with um, the KDE, KDE style sheet, style guide, just the way things look when they're made by KDE. Uh, but I realized when I scan everything with 48-bit color depth, the scanner crushes it down to 16-bit color depth. And that just is because 48-bit color depth is like absurd and it's way too many colors. It's like infinite colors, right? So it crushes it down to 16, which is way too many. I don't think monitors even display 16-bit, but it's way less, right? Uh, however, it does mean increase shadows and increase contrast. So that was the case, right? And, but the irritating thing about ScanLight is it doesn't support 16-bit PNG images. And I don't think, I'm pretty sure PNG doesn't even support 16-bit. Uh, so here I was getting the scan that was crushing down from 48 bits of color to 16 bits of color, and then from 16 bits of color to 8 bits of color, right? Which is horrible. It's so bad. Uh, it's just the worst thing in the world, right? And uh, it doesn't look bad, but everything just looks really dark. And so I realized I need to save this TIFF, which isn't that much larger. Um, and you know, it's not as if these are going to be portable files, you know, <laughs> they're going to be large files, but they're not going to be massive, not as massive as people think TIFF files are. So I'm going to save this as tip, TIFF with, uh, with native 16-bit color depth, and then, um, yeah, and then I'm going to be manually selecting the white point as I'm scanning it. Uh, which means instead of a lot of stuff looking darker, which is kind of inherent in 48-bit color depth, I'm going to be increasing the brightness, and uh, then it'll look as if you're, you know, viewing it from your from your eye, you know? Uh, because with 48-bit color depth, I don't know what it's doing. I think it's getting some ultraviolet rays or something, some X-rays, I don't know, because it looks much darker. Uh, but, you know, with my manual white point balancing, it's going to look lighter and it's going to look better, uh, despite maybe having a tiny bit worse color depth. But that's the plan. Uh, all right, see ya, dude.